Hello. My name is Seroid. Let's do some Q&A. Q&A is always fun. Q&A is always fun. Um, I collected a couple questions from random places. If you have questions, post them in the channel. But first of all, as I've been saying in a lot of videos, if you could go to my uh, new Denjin Hadouken video on Machinima, that'd be great. I'm sure you're sick of hearing that from me. It's just, I want to get as many hits as I can on Machinima. And if you could upvote them, that'd be good. Because I'm getting a lot of downvotes from the Call of Duty players over there. The first person shooter players are like, hey, what the fuck is Street Fighter? Uh, little do they know that I actually play Call of Duty. I play it a lot. I play it a lot. So, yeah. Um, so check that out. I'll put it in the description. The description. Because I don't know how to put it, like, as Gutex does it here. Right? Wish I could do that. Um, question number one from Asian Viet Lover. Hey, man. I don't know what kind of other Viets there are, but all right. Hey, I played you at whatever, whatever. Um, is there anything I should change in my gameplay? He's talking about a video where I played him. His name is uh, B Boy K Dash. Oh, he's a B Boy. Nice. I'm into hip hop. I like to beatbox. And um, he's the Necro player that I played. And he's actually pretty good. He's wondering what his flaws were. If you go to that video, um, Viet Lava, then you'll notice that you're juggling all wrong. Whenever you have a chance to juggle in the corner, you should just do the down back fierce, the elbow. Because you're doing the jab spin punch. You don't want to do that because it doesn't do as much damage. It does. You're better off doing the fierce, the down back fierce, and then after you hit that, you can do the uh, stand jab. It does more damage. You reset the guy, and that gives you perfect distance for you to do the uh, the uh, universal overhead and the super if you're in the corner. So yeah, that's one thing I would do. Second of all, if I recall that match, you had me somewhat stunned, like really stunned, but not full, obviously. And I just kind of turtled in the corner because that's a smart thing to do. And um, well, why is it flashing? Well, I don't know why it's flashing. That's weird. But what you want to do is not back away, because you'll notice at a point that you kind of backed away, and um, you kind of just let me get my stun meter down. You want to apply a little bit of pressure, but not too much. If you apply too much pressure, and it's that obvious that you're trying to stun me, I'm just going to do a shore you, and I'm going to nail you for it. All right. Oh, shout out to my girlfriend, Anna. She's uh, sick right now. Let's see if I can get a picture of her. My playbook. Blackberry playbook. See, watch this. Swipe. It turns on. Swipe anywhere. Yeah, see? It's my girlfriend, Anna. Well, you can't see it there, though. She's a ghost. She has no face. Ah! Um, Chubby Punch says, Is this game playable on pad? By the way, love your videos. Keep it up. <laughs> My videos? You're watching the wrong show, dude. Um, This game is definitely playable on pad, but no self-respecting Street Fighter player fucking plays on pad. Even Wolf Cone's practicing on stick. So, word. That's what he told me. He was just here, like, last week. <laughs> um... Turlast asks, what kind of stick I play on? I play on a custom stick. Here's my stick. Uh, maybe I can... Eh, does this help? Can you see that stick there? That's my stick. Uh, there. See that? It's a six-button stick. It's a custom. Cost me a couple hundred bucks. It was a while ago that I got that, because it works for PS2 as well, and it's modded. Look, I cut myself shaving right there. See? That's not why I'm going like this, though. I just do that all the time. And, um, it's an American stick, meaning it's a 360, and the buttons are Japanese Sanwa. Sanwa. It's a six-button stick, because I think the eight-button system is really stupid. It's kind of bullshit. I never need eight buttons, even in Street Fighter 4. So that's, that's the kind of stick that I have. But use whatever is good for you, whatever works. Okay, if you play on pad, then play on pad. If you play on stick, play on stick. Japanese, American, who cares? Um, y YRS... Mile kills me. Ask, am I double tapping or am I drumming? I don't know what the difference is. Um, they're the same to me. I'm double tapping. It's not that necessary. It's kind of stupid most of the time. So just, it's overrated. It's very overrated. It is good if you can train yourself to always do it. But if you don't, then who cares? Okay. Someone sent me a message. Uh, actually, I don't want to give his name because. It was in my inbox. It was a PM, so I don't want to give out names if it's a PM. Why do I play AE? First of all, 
I've been around for a while. You might not know that. I play Street Fighter 4. Uh, I play it because it's Street Fighter. You, you gotta play it. I've been around for a long time. I play all the games that came out. All the Alphas, all the Street Fighters. Even I play all the Marvels, the X-Men Street Fighter, Marvel Street Fighter, etc. I've played them all, so that's why I play AE. And it's the new game. I love Third Strike. It's my main game, but you really have to move on. You got to look at all these amazing players out there that are good at this one game, and where are they now? Like they're just one game wonders, and I don't really want to do that. Right? I, I want to be that mediocre, pl mediocre player that's good at every other game. All right. Uh, loyal to zero asks about the Makoto tr Makoto Trial Five. Do I care about both of the the uppercuts, or do I uh, the Fukiyagi's? Right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Do I care both, or is it just the first one? Uh, just the just the the first one. He also said that he got the combo, and it was like he got the combo once, and that's good because that means you have the ability to even execute it well at all. Most people won't get it. Will get it zero times. Zero. Zero point zero. So car the first one. It's with the stand roundhouse, the neutral roundhouse, and she'll move backwards when you. Move backwards and then she'll do the uppercut when uh, you do it correctly. You have to do it relatively early as well, so it's not just about executing the actual uppercut. You have to actually make sure you time it right so that they bounce a certain direction at a certain angle, etc. Uh, Death by BRs asks, "Where do I live that I upload this time?" It's 6:17 a.m. right now. It's October 1st. I live in Toronto, which is right above New York. For those of you that don't know where Toronto is. It's about a 12-hour drive north of New York City. It is about an hour away from Buffalo, New York, and I just stay out really late. I'm I stay up really late. Uh, my work sometimes involves for me to just work late to get stuff done, and sometimes I just do very little at work. Right, so you know I'm up very late hours. So that's that's where I am. Uh, someone sent me a message. This is a PM, so let's not reveal. I heard Gutex and Five Star mention you in the latest episode of his Third Strike series. Cool. Do you know who the fuck's Five Star? Fuck. It's a stupid name. Uh, do you know every top player? Uh. Now here's the thing. What you consider top isn't really what I consider top. For one thing, um, because I'm not aware of all the players nowadays for all these different games. Do I know all the top third strike players in North America? Based on tournament results, all the top players, Justin, Pyro, Five Star, blah 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 blah. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, I know them all. I know all the top third all the top third strike players as far as I know. I don't Shin Chang, he bought me dinner at Evo. Um Five Star, I see him every year almost. Mo Prem hung out at Evo. Uh, Pyro, I've met him a couple times. We talk every now and then. Um, sorry, like I'll go to California. He'll ask me about my flight, etc. How's your How's your flight in? Blah blah blah. Have you got a light or whatever? That's probably as far as our conversations go. Um, I I know all the top players. I'm only friends with a couple, right? Like a uh, Five Star, uh, Farai, Rockefeller, um, Justin. Uh, you know, Combo Fiend, right? He was still in town. He's a cool guy. So I do know a lot of the top players. I've been around for a while. People don't know that because I'm not a top player. I'm not a top Street Fighter player. I'm just a top third strike player, if that. Right? I mean, I place high whenever I join. Could just be flukes. But tournament results are all that matters nowadays. Someone asked me, why do I hate Chun Li? I don't hate Chun Li. It's just a joke. It's I'm just I'm just messing around, right? Uh. I don't really hate Chun Li, but if I were to tell you that I fuck, I fucking hate Chun Li. She, I, I, she's, she's so brainless and like. The reason why I don't like Chun Li, or Chun Li, is because. Once you get down her low medium kick super, once you get down back fierce into fireball super, not even just back fierce super, just back fierce fireball super, over like universal overhead super, just like all the basic stuff, and then you learn how to do a car throw. It's a ridiculous game. Like you can beat so many people. There are a lot of players out there that say it doesn't matter how good their Chun Li is, but I will never lose to a somewhat new Chun Li, even if they've mastered the hit confirms and the car throws. And all I can say is bullshit. Bullshit. You're lying. 
Okay, you're lying. Um, I don't hate her that much. She's just too good. It's not their. F it's no one's fault. It's just it's her first third strike game. It's Yun's first three four four game. Same with Yang, and look how good they are. Uh, look how much damage Yun deals in Street Fighter 4. It is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Same example. It's the first game of that series that they're in. Therefore, they they got it right the first time, and there wasn't a chance to rebalance it. So in Street Fighter 4, it's different now because 2012 is coming out. Right? We're gonna die in December next year. What's the point? Just kidding. I'm not one of those. I'm not. I'm not one of those idiots. Um, six Diego, one Diego, nine. Who's asks how come Kuroda never uses back plus medium Kara with Q, the back throw? I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't. I don't watch. I don't really watch Japanese third strike videos. I. I don't know. It just. I'd rather just play. If I watch those videos, it just makes me want to play. So. I don't know. He didn't. Doesn't use it. If he doesn't use the back medium Kara with Q, then I think he's an idiot. Like I don't believe you for one thing. I think you're just trolling. I don't know. Um. If Q's in the corner, if he wants to throw, he should be doing car throw. Because it'll back throw into the corner, so whatever. Someone asked me, why do I parry so much? Um, it's a good question. Because I shouldn't parry so much. But I use a character where it's okay to parry a lot. I use Ryu and I parry a lot. You notice if I use Ken or, Ken or Deldi, I don't parry as much. But with, with Ryu, when I'm using Denjin, it's about stun. Every parry that I land gives me a huge opportunity to deal a fierce into the sidekick. And when I'm doing Fierce in the sidekick, that's about 40% stun, maybe a little under that, and that's enough for a dungeon right there to kick your ass. So it's worth the risk. And keep in mind, I'm already better than 99.9% .9 of the players out there, so I can risk it just because, like, because keep in mind, I'm including the scrubs, those that play it casually, those that are mediocre, intermediate. I'm I'm better than all of them. Right, the people that I can't beat are the ones that you know of, the ones whose name you already know that will just beat the crap out of me. Paroli, I can't beat him. Like Samir, I can't beat him. Right? Like, you know what? If I play the, if I play them, I probably parry even more just because I know I'm gonna lose to them. Right? Well, not really. I don't. I can beat them all, but chances are I had to play them like 30 tournaments for me to beat them once. Well, I'm just exaggerating numbers there. Definitely not 30. I'll definitely beat them one in 30. Uh, and also. Dan Teo's Dan, whatever. This is four months ago. He asked this. Um, where are the arcades in Toronto? The arcade that everyone goes to for Third Strike on Friday nights is called Love Getty Station, which is in Richmond Hill. Uh, it's right off the highway on DVP and Highway Seven. It's an Asian plaza, and the arcades Japanese style arcade. They have a bunch of Japanese style games, and um, Friday nights people go there to play Third Strike. It's been dying down because arcade scenes, it is kind of a dead thing going on. So not that many people have been, you know, going as much. But, you know, that's where the arcades are. There really is no other arcades worth going to. There's one in Pacific Mall. It's called Orbit, where we held our tea tournaments for a while. That's a dead arcade as well. Don't go there. Um, now we have our own little things. Like, we have this place called HQ, which is a little place that we rent out and have... Not, we, not me, sorry, but Toronto... And we just have consoles there set up. So you can look in the Toronto threads if you need more information about that on shoryuken.com. And uh, that's about it. So I think that's... Oh, one more question is... How, how does how does Rockefeller know you? Well, okay. I covered this before. Uh, I wanted to answer it again just because I love talking about Rockefeller. He's such a cool guy. But... I've been to California so many times, and I go there so often. I pretty much go there every year, or every year and a half, let's say. And I always hang out with these guys, because I have friends in California, but most of my time, if I'm free, I'll just spend it with the dudes from California. Why the hell not? I mean, we hang out all the time, all the Street Fighter players, like Amir, John D, Farai, Day, you know, uh, Yi Wang, uh, Vinny, Vic, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the, the Chin brothers. And, you know, it's... People to hang out with, people to play third strike with, people to just shoot the shit with. So, why not? And I like staying in contact with people. So, got their numbers, their aims, their emails, Facebook, Friendster, MySpace, etc. And I try to communicate whenever I can. Like, I just spoke to Mr. Bean a couple of weeks ago, and he helped me out with my video editing. So, that's it. Um, I'll try to give you another video. Hopefully, this doesn't get cut off 